Yo, what's up, my dude? How are you? <laughs> You're really struggling in Team of the Giants? Yeah. That's definitely a game that's pretty, pretty difficult. Well, you can grab, if you kill somebody in, um, in stuff like that, you can kill them, and you should be pretty good other than that. I mean, like, uh, how do I, how do I say it? There's a, there's a guy that carries a lantern that you can grab, and then you'll be able to see a little more. There's a guy that carries a lantern that you can grab, and then you'll be able to see a little more. But I have, uh, we're going to do some programming today, so. But I have, uh, we're going to do some programming today, so. Give you one second. What do you mean give you one second? Give you one Unacceptable. Second. What do you mean give you one second? Man, it's been forever since I've done this, since I've looked at this. They're not there anymore. What do you mean they're not there anymore? They should be... Every asset should be in here. Every asset should be in here. Ugh. This is so gross. Well, 
you're back. Oh, you want to see? So, I made the original Pokedex from scratch, and then I randomized whatever I've caught. And then you can, like, pick it, your data. Oh, I haven't implemented the cry yet, but then you have an area where it's at. Some of them aren't in an area, so you just don't do it. See, they're everywhere. There's two of them. I don't think you can... Oh, you can get Kadabras in uh, Mewtwo's cave. Oh, thanks, man. Data. This is all written by hand. Oh, I caught a Mew. Oh, Mews don't exist. What about a Mewtwo? Oh man, it's right there. If I can... Mm. Well, that's what I wanted to know if you guys wanted me to update this to make it in color because... See, the other issue is... Uh, It won't, it shouldn't take me that long, but I had to painstakingly do the assets in GIMP, and um, I had to get everything correct, all the sizes correct, all the alphas correct, as well as all of the letters, Each I have every letter, I have a Pokedex, I have a map, I have the dotted lines so they can add it to the file, the birds, um, and then I have the, the actual content itself. It would need to be, if you guys could hand, and if somebody could literally just like get all the assets and and the sprite assets and and bring them apart like I did then it won't take me that long this took me I'd say about 200 hours to do because I had to manually do all of the sprites and and so on and so forth and how many lines of code later about 1100 lines of code And then I had to painstakingly, um, another thing I had to do, oh crap, is, is it not in my assets? Oh, I guess not. In my bin directory, well, I had to put all my assets in here as well, but, so, I made a text file that has all of their positions and where they're at. Like every route has a position and everything. I typed all that out. As well as, oh no, those are, lo those are locations. As well as images. So in the assets directory, I just grab all of them and they grab the PNGs so that I can then um so let's see if I can get some other ones up and running hopefully this one was the one of the ones that I wanted to show you guys the most but we will see
wonder if my RPG got downloaded correctly. Oh, it did. We have it. Cool. So this is pretty fun, too. I made this at work one day. We can always add to this RPG as well. Because uh, this, this should... Uh, could be always evolving... So this is something pretty cool. So I made an entire AI RPG, right? And a tournament. So I made so you'll you'll find this pretty amazing, right? So a tournament, right? So this is a tournament and uh we can do a ranking tournament. I made this Ooh, there you go. So we got I think these are the people who lost or these are the people who won and we rank them on who would win in levels and then you fight these bosses Oh yeah, so these Yusuke and Hiei are the, the 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 number one who beat the first um, boss tournament. So they all they all get their uh, placements in the in a, a special file that I used for the bosses. So. Hiei, Kilua, Luffy, Naruto, Ichigo. Zoro. Kakashi beat Zoro, ninja. Mihawk, Eustace. Ooh. Oh, I didn't clear him from the list box. Think that's a bit of a stretch? No, it's not. It's good, man. So this is this is the other stuff, is right. So Oh, I can't. That's fine. So let's uh let's make a new game. Um let's do let's do Stell. Let's do random stats. So which one is Stell? You like this one? Ooh, his health's pretty good. His magic's pretty good. His attack, his defense, his dex. His luck pretty sucks, though. <laughs> Bad luck. Let's do one more. Let's do a couple more rands. There we go. So now, essentially, what this does is this plays itself so it randomly it randomly adds these are the bosses that we all have to face this is um essentially the default bosses um every after you beat a certain um species then you fight a boss and then it randomly picks how many species you have to fight so it's completely random you have an inventory system you have i haven't implemented quests but that's something that we can do and then i have equipment and then we fight stats so essentially when I hit play it'll start doing it for me ooh we got a a cross thread okay so how can we fix this we cross threaded this hmm 
We gotta do an invoker. Well. Hmm. He's got some steel pants, some stats. He's level two. Health's pretty good. Magic's dark mange. A war wolf. Bulma. Bulma made it into you. Krillin. And then we have an inventory system. We can use like a potion. We have all I randomly make common stuff like steel pants is common, defense is twenty two. You at random it drops. I, I never added shields and magic. There's stuff that I want to do with this. I want to add, like, networking to it, too. Ooh, I got an uncommon long. Ooh, oh, I got a common ultra sword. Dumb. Do I have any good stuff? Ooh, eh, uncommon. Only potions. Eh, decent gold. Oh, Stell, I haven't showed you. I should show you this. Let's save this, but... So... A while ago, I wanted to do something because I was bored at work. I made an entire, the original entire Pokedex. I did make that, yep. And Bulbasaur. I don't know why Bulbasaur didn't work. Oh, it's off by one. Oh crap, I'll fix it later. Maybe it's just a bug that happened. Uh, I thought about it. I thought about doing it 
on stream. I thought I lost this forever, to be honest with you. So, War Turtle, and then like at the same time, I haven't implemented the cry, but you have you have everything a Pokedex would do except for the cry. So like that's where you would find the Fearows, and then like, and then this, and then those are all the Spearows, and then I randomly say who I've caught so far. So I've seen 68, and I've owned 32. So there's not all of them. Like I've caught him a champ. But you can't get them in the wild, in the wild, and then Shelter. Oh, thank you, uh, Brian AC zero nine two. Much appreciated. I got the data on these guys, and this is all done in C sharp. It took me over. I had to painstakingly go over everything. It was. It was painful. Like these are the lists, and then I had the do the control O. I had to go into GIMP, which is like a like a Photoshop. You demand the doggo wrestling. Why? Why do we? Why do we demand? Why? Why do we demand this? This is the doggo.
sorry about that guys i had a call um other than that do you what would you guys like all of you are writing we um we are definitely uh, here to code and fix stuff, but I was just showing up all of the different projects I've done. Um, like this one, the tournament we were doing. I, don't, I hope I saved it. Oh, we did. Cool. Every time you kill a boss, it automatically saves it. So if we load the game back up, he's not New Game Plus. So we continue, and then we can continue playing. If anybody wants to have their own, we can start up theirs. Don't die. Man. Well, that's good. You didn't finish it. You're just up to date with the manga. Uh, what other... Where are all my projects at? I gotta figure that out. I don't remember. Projects? Nope, that's empty. Repos, probably. Oh, yeah, there you go. Did I fix this? I thought I fixed the Legend of Zelda one that we had. Why is a shield no? What? What happened to Link? What happened to my, my beautiful Link? Why is it? Okay, well, fine. We won't have the shield. Link, where did you go? You're not there anymore. Oh, this is sad. Oh. Ugh, so what should we program today?
Oh, did somebody? I don't have. Ooh, I, but, uh, oh, I forgot I have a multi stream up on YouTube. I didn't even realize that I was doing YouTube still. Good lord. It's so loud. Three people! Woo! Oh no, it's not a BL4 run. That is not what's going on here. Okay, 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 okay. You hate Dark Souls? Well. Yeah. Most people do. I'll be right back. You're a melee class. Well, I know we can. Let's, let's, uh, new project. Let's do a. Windows forms. Let's do. Let's make war as a as a game. Why not? So what do we need for war, right? We need cards. We need some other stuff, correct? <clears throat> so we need... Tools, let's know, it should be, it should be our view. Let's go to our toolbox. Oops. And let's add some stuff, right?
so what would we do? Um, do we need to look up a background and and make some cards, right? <clears throat> so card table background. I guess that'll work. Let's save image as. Sure, I don't. Stock photo background. Where is this located? It's in. Should be in my sources. We. Uh, uh, uh. Properties background, yes, it, yes. Uh, uh. So now that we have that, we can um, do something. Oops. We could do a property that has graphics in there. We can make ourselves a background. Um, let's go to our properties. It should have be like graphics in here, or paint. And do graphics temp or or just graph equals e dot graphics. So now we could do graph dot load image or draw image. We would um, we can do a new image. Oh crap. Oh, we need an image so we could use a I'm pretty sure it has this has a list of everything we need so an image points and where we want it so on and so forth but what we can do is we can go to the the properties and we can our references I'm pretty sure properties resources and then we can add a resource or Add a new image or add an existing file, which would be our background and save it. So and then we can do um, war dot properties dot resources dot background and then we can do it at zero zero and let's load this baby up. And there we go. That's we need it a little bigger, right? We can't just, it's, that's just small. So what we can do is we can add 100 by 100. Oh, well, that still would be zero, zero. But then we would, now it's just massive. And that's man we don't want that either so how can we change this like can we like, grab or so on and so forth so what we could do is probably we could keep guessing and keep guessing and guessing and guessing but that's not really going to get us anywhere 500 by 550 yeah let's try it nope it's a good try though. We can make it this way. What we could do is we could go into here, right? And we already have the, the properties of this. So if we so if we move this out a little more, right? And then we can know what the size of this is. Uh, if we go to its 
actual properties, it's 592 by 497. So you do 592 or 5, 592 by, if any of you are my students that are in here, if you guys need questions and so on and so forth, don't hesitate to ask about the stuff in 497, 497. And there we go. Well, this should. And that's our table. You see it very good. It goes down a little bit more, but we don't need that whole entire image. Um, if we want to go back and look at it, I could have messed up the 592. That's the size. Uh, that's the width and the height. It's 592 and 499 with a 00. zero. So did I do that? 590. The width is 592. Control shift space. The width is 592 and 497. Yep, yep. So there we go. So now we need co we need playing cards, right? But first we need some sort of like player. So what we can do is make a class. players is it too hard to implement a, a dynamic resolution for this game sorry I'm not dynamic resolution how this is just a this is a 2d game not a 3d game but dynamic resolution like like you mean like adjusting it as much as you you do it yeah you can do that you can um every time this moves this should adjust we could do that if you want me to do that um absolutely uh so when we move it right so there should be something in here if property changed it, just gotta find it there's so many of these resize right so if there's done a resize what we would do is so instead of doing this here what we would do is have a variable outside that we can call it right so part of the class we could just do call graph from here so then we can set graph equals e right so then we can call a draw image here and then do e uh, we could do this dot size dot with no 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 this is fine this is what i'm here it's a simple we're, we're only working on a, um, a png right now it's not very much a uh, a hard thing to deal with and to learn this it's not a we can go through it i, I don't think this will work and i understand we'll, we'll figure out why in a second so if we move it it's going to crash Parameters not valid. This means that these these aren't valid. We can't do this from here because it's not inside of the paint. But what we can do, and I'm pretty sure this may work, that we're, we might have to do something else. But we can get this dot width and this dot height. 
And this what this will do. This is just a pointer that points to it's within the site of its thing. So. See? <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird because it's it's multiplying, but we could do a refresh and do an invalidate and it should update appropriately. So if we did this and then we did uh, this dot invalidate. This happens, but now that you don't see this because it's refreshing every time. That's how you do the dynamic. So what we would do with this is some sort of, like, we're going to make some sort of buffer. I don't remember how I did it before, so we're going to, I'm going to do it and show you one of my projects and kind of copy it because it's been a long time since I've done a kind of buffering situation, but it's pretty easy to do. Okay, double buffered. I think that's what we need. A double buffered equals true. So if we do a double buffered equals true, we should be able to not have it blink anymore. And we can dynamically resize it just like you wanted. Uh, Nafi, Naf, Naf, did that, did that understand your question about dynamically resizing everything? So hopefully that that was if you need me to go over how the how this works then that that wouldn't work too. But now um, that we have this is this is our drawing feature. This is how we would draw everything that we need. So this is where we would get the cards. This is where we would draw our cards and and so on and so forth. But what we want to do real quick is we want to know where we want to place these cards, right? So we draw the background. So we want it's a kind of a hierarchy. So if you drew before the image. The image would overwrite it. So what we want to do next, so crap, is we want to really let's let's make some rectangles, right, to to see where these cards are going to be at eventually. So let's uh, draw a rectangle. So we're going to do a pen. We're just going to do a brush. We can do a pen, right? Am I doing something wrong here? There we go. Black. And then we're just going to do um, 0, 0, 0, 0, or 50, 50, right? So this should give us a definite. So there's our square. So we need that a little bigger and in the middle. So. You could probably just guess at it. But what you could do is something like this as well. You could do this. I'm pretty sure this will work. If you d divide it by two, you should get the center. Could be wrong. I'm not I'm not perfect. Well, that's the center. <laughs> Technically, that's the center of the of the of the uh of the thing. But uh cards Uh, a deck of cards. See the issue with these kind of kind of things, right? So like, we can grab these. These will work, but then we have to now, um, kind of ex export them in a, in a, in a way. 
like we gotta we gotta take out all these cards and then we gotta get the back of them too which we have to find the back of them so that we can um have some sort of when they're laid down so we need to find uh If you guys are enjoying this, thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you uh, like, give me a give me a follow. We can continue doing this all the time. Um, we need a we need a decent back of a deck of cards. Yeah, this will work. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to run a program called GIMP. And this is basically like Photoshop. And we're going to file... Oh, well. What we can do is... Uh, I don't have another one open. We can drag this into GIMP. Let's keep it. And now we're going to have to start <laughs> we're going to have to start converting these cards, which this is the most this is what programmers hate the most and what I hate is I have to do this by hand and that's why like we need artists to do it for us. Because, like, I'm not an artist, and... And then to make it look nice, it's gotta, like, be, like, precise where it's on the card, and it, like, there's barely any, like, stuff that you have to do. And then what I would do is I would copy it, then I would do File New, press OK and then do this right so this is its background and what I would oh, oh crap and what I would do is I would do a uh, layer and I would do transform or you know it'd be an image and uh, fit canvas to layer or no it would be fit canvas to layers it'd be like canvas size it's I think it's fit canvas to image But if we, hold on, we got rid of it, paste, image, really. Hmm. Has it been this long since this happened? I can't remember. Uh. Well, that's fine. If there's a better way, if anybody's an artist in here and there's a better way to do this, absolutely show me because I do not know. Uh -huh. See, stuff like this is a pain in the butt. So how's everybody doing today? And there we go. So and then what we're going to do now is we're going to add a layer. We're going to add a transparency layer. We're going to add an alpha channel. Which we don't really need. But we can... So then what we would do is we would do like a magic stick if you wanted to do something. And like you would delete it. And this would be like your alpha. But because it's, it's their white, it's totally just fine to just leave it like this. So what we would do is file export as a... Um, what was that? A king of hearts? King of Hearts, PNG. That's not where I wanted it. Um, hmm. 
There we go. King of Hearts. And export that. And I know it's probably boring now that I'm not coding and I'm doing all this crap, but to get all these cards, we can make a lot of card games after I'm done with this. Because then we'll have them all. Or, somebody in chat can just do it for me real quick if they're an artist, and then we can just send me the files, and we don't have to do this, and we can just code it. But you know... That'll never work. You guys are here only for the lols. This is the selection which is making me... So isn't there a hand function, right? There is certainly a way to do it with some code and programs, but I don't know so much to help you. Ah, it's whatever, man. We could switch to something else if we need to. If we need to make, like, simple Pong, we can. I just figured War would be better to show you guys the how it, how it works. This is so annoying. Oh, I guess create from clipboard works. That'll be a lot easier. Uh, so, well, we'll do that. We can we can do some stuff. So, we can program and then we can go back. So, what we could do is, we need a couple classes, right? We need a class of the deck of cards. And then we obviously have the players, right? So what, what would we need to do with this? Like, for instance, how would we go about doing something like this? I'll be right back when you get a chance to have a question. Yeah, what's uh, what's your question, Capt?
Yeah, no, they're only gonna do something if it is because of the natural problem and he says, Once they fix that it should fix ours and I'm like, But my entire yard is a swamp. You're walking and you're singing, I can see you sing. And they're like, Well he only has the issue because we have the seven seven foot stuff or whatever. He was like, It's designed the way it's supposed to be designed but we're like, Well you're sinking in our yard. So they're like, I can definitely see on him that he has a flooding problem, that type of thing. And I'm like, so my three trees are doing nothing. So like, it's just giving a lot of good energy. It's giving a good energy. So I'm just like, so they're going to actually try to fix his side. They should correct our side. So, but the rest of our yard is fucked. So it doesn't matter. Finn, 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 Finn again, Finn again. If you if you give an a, in a default value outside of a loop when you use an input inside of a loop, what would that make an input not matter? Okay, so let's so let's make an example right here. Let's just do a n typical console application examples. I'm the one who wins. Uh, yes, let's save it. We'll always come back to this. We can continue this, but... So... If you give an in, in a default value and it's outside of a loop, and when you use an input inside the loop, what would, that, would that make an input not matter? No. So, let's let's do this, right? So, while true, what you need to do is... Make sure there's no value value that's the same. And what you would do is, oh, well, I don't know why I'm doing this. You would just do a this equals console Well, you can do it with you you want it to make it a string because the console dot read line returns a string so returning a string is is big because that's how you're gonna get your stuff so um, int I equals zero don't don't worry about what I'm doing here it's just a placeholder to, to debug it for you guys Right, so if we load it up, it'll ask us hello world, and we'll say boom. Now stuff should be replaced, and which it is, because now it's boom, because we read it in as a string. So is, did that answer your question? How can I help you more? Does anybody else have questions that they need? Basic programming questions. That's fine. If there are any people that are my students in my uh, school that are here that ask need to ask questions or just want cool things to happen, then let me know. That's what we're here for today. What are you doing, Chels Chels? Chels Chels Miguel's. Okay, so what were we doing? Oh, for people who have just joined, if you uh, there's some couple things that uh, probably you haven't seen yet that um, 
you can we can go over real quick. Like for instance, I don't know if you've been here already for the new people. I have made an entire an, an entire Pokedex, original Pokedex from scratch in C sharp. With its with its pictures, its height, its weight, and its bio, and then its map of where they would be. Zapdos is over there. Zapdos, best Pokemon ever. Articuno. Moltres should be in Victory Road. Yep. So stuff like that, more advanced, but we can do if you guys really want. It just... Like I said, I had to parse out all of that data and um, and do it by hand every day. It took me a long time to do. I also made a fighting game. If you guys wanted to see it as well. Can do. I'm do. I'm showing you guys something that uh <clears throat> that I uh, another game that I made um, in our school right now that we did for one of my classes. And uh, I'll look it up for you guys. I'm trying to. Okay, it's in that email. Okay. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it. God, there's so much crap. Uh, where is it? It should be on my desktop. Oh, there it is. Let's see who can take a bigger ass kicking. I don't think. Let's 
see who can take a bigger ass kicking. I was a big, big Yu Yu Hakusho fan. So and then how to play. This is the game I made. So you can run around. Oh, it's, I don't know why I made it Z and C. Um, I can then you can shoot the. Oh my god, Karama. Oh my god, Karama. It's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> the winner of this match and the winner of the battle is Team Yurameshi, led by Yusuke Yurameshi! So I have to get stronger than anyone else. Otherwise, there's a chance I could lose them. Yes. The winner of this match. Yeah, so that's the game I played at, uh, I made. It was one of the best game. it was the best feeling ever to make something like this. And then, I had... Oh yeah, there's so many, so many, and this is all made in C++. Use K, you're a meshy idle run, spirit gun, and shotgun. Where are my resources? Oh yeah, I had all of the... His running animations. Just charging up. I don't know why I didn't have that in there. His hit his when he falls, same as Karama's. I wanted to do Hiei, but I didn't get a chance to get Hiei. I have all the Karama sprites. And we only had a, only had a month to do this. And I had the, uh, the Dark Tournament. Jin? Oh, that's when uh, he shot Jin. Karama wins. Karama wins! <laughs> Karama wins! I don't think Karama's ever won. Oh, that, yeah, that's its dark tones. Wind sound. There was so much stuff I wanted to... to add. Let's see who can take a bigger ass kicking. This is all C++, not the C-sharp that uh, I teach. Very, very... So, your triparse messed up? So, so what really happens is when you do a triparse, right? So let's, let's try... Thin, thin, thin again, thin again. I had to do it. It's my great Dane. So when you want to do a triparse, right, you pass in a string. So int dot triparse, you pass in a string, which would be your boom goes the dynamite. And then you would make another int num equals zero. Out num. And then... <laughs> and 
And then this would return a boolean. Boo. Boo. So what is what do you need help with? It need, I need it to give me the user's input out, but it keeps giving me the zero. So. You don't want to do that. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm listening to my wife talk in the background. I'm like, you don't want to do that. No, no. This is the right way to do that. But you need to type in a number because it's going to try to parse that number. You can't just type. For instance, if you type five, that's not going to work. It's going to give you a zero because you typed five. It's going to be false. But if you typed the number five, then this will be true. And this little, this number will be holding five now. Man, I am. So if you typed, if you did this correctly, right? If you did the line, you typed four, right? You should have four. Uh, anybody that's watching that has questions about programming, just let me know. Oh, I, I know you don't get four. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is something similar that you need to do. You read the line, that's a string, then you pass in this string. Somewhere here, you're getting messed up. So you may be using a different, you don't want to use the same, like, string if you're using it somewhere else, or it may get overwritten. You can have it outside the loop. Watch, I can just do an int num. But you have to make sure that this these numbers are, are only being used once and you're not using them somewhere else and then they're trying to parse it. Like, for instance, if I do a... Uh, Yeah, this 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 will work. So if I do this and then I get a, a parse, right? And then somehow I change this this uh, variable to back to a string, where it's like equals five, not knowing that it's changed on me. And then I do another one of these try parses. It's not going to work, and it's just changed my stuff, and it's going to be a zero. So anything else, guys? What else can I help you guys with today with these beautiful numbers? Numbers, numbers, numbers. If you guys are enjoying the programming lessons, shout out to everybody. And we can do more of these. If base, if base would be something like 36 that you actually can transform 5 into a number like hexadecimal numbers but more complicated. So you want to change it to hex? Well, that's fine. So you just, I'm pretty sure in C sharp there's a hex call. Uh, this, this is the one time where looking things up is totally okay. Because you could just be like google.com how to change to uh, change a to change a number into a hex value 
C sharp. So, there we go. We can... So, something like this, right? So, you would grab your string... I don't understand why it's doing an X here. Because you could just do an int parts, the hex value, and, and, and do it like that. Like you could just do an, you could just do an int parse, and you could do, oh, okay, well that's fine. Because you could just do it here, copy, and then you can do, um, what was it? The system globalization. Number styles dot hex number. Or we can just do, let's just do this, right? So we can see it. Um, console dot, dot right, right line. And we'll just do this dot to string. And there we go. Oh, you mean you want to do power? Yeah, you could do you could do like a power. That that's fine. I I didn't understand your question though. Python is 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 like something that I've been working on for my other job at work. Printed four. No, it'll give you that, but Something similar. Ugh. So, Cap, are you doing, uh, 
are you understanding what's going on? I know, I don't know if Gamer Ashley is part of our students, if she needs help or he, whatever you decide to be, I don't care. You're an absolutely wonderful person, whatever you decide to be. Well, I'm here to help, my dude. I'm gonna go get more water. And figure out why my camera's not on. I had no idea my camera wasn't on. Oh, I'm really dark. I should put on some light. I don't think that uh, that did any better. Ooh, my camera is messed up. Much better. Just give it a smack. Should we get the doggy cam on too? And go see the Great Dane Finnegan. Just if you're if you're my student that's in here, just don't forget that uh, the assignment is due on Sunday. So I'm still getting a bad output. It's not reading the input. So what what do you mean it's not reading the input? Like I I essentially gave you how it reads the input. That's that's how it how it how exactly how it does it. I, I'm not trying to be rude or an asshole, but that's exactly the way I have it, is exactly how it reads it. You talking to me enough? No, Captain. Gotcha, my dude. Gotcha, or whatever. 
<sighs> I can't really share code since it's for his class. You cannot. You can give me pseudo code. Cannot do that. Okay. So let's 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 do something here, right? So let's make a class called Pokemon. And Captain, keep keep you keep watch. Control K control. Control K, Control D. Ugh. I hate that. Oh, that's because you don't want to have a class in a function because I'm an idiot. Um, we could do some ints, int, um, or string type, string name, let's make these public, And then let's make a variable called Pokemon, right? So if we go in here and we do a variable called Pokemon, right? Be like, let's call it Captain's Pokemon. We're gonna actually have to do a new. We want to dynamically allocate this to have new memory. So now what we would do here is I want to have a giant list, right? So let's do a giant list. Uh, I want to have a list of Pokemon equals new. Oh, I didn't make a uh, variable name. Caps Pokemon. equals new list of Pokemon right so now we have a giant giant list if you're following along well we gotta make this a static Ooh. whatever that's not gonna stop it we want to have it in here so X and then put it outside in your class program so we have a list right so is everybody following along you have your list now so now that we have your list and we've created this one we, we have now have a loop so why is my computer wanting to destroy my soul Well, true. We want to have a Pokemon that we want to always do, right? We always want to show these Pokemon. And then we want to then make a temp string equals nothing. And then, like, that's fine we can use that string so then what we would do is we would do temp equals read line Gwen is good Gwen is fantastic Gwen is um, on the phone right now doing her disability for uh, maternity leave so um, she can be at home while I teach my students and work in the software engineering industry so but she's we have her friends are coming this weekend. Oh, that's going to be fun. So now that's a string, what we can do is do capped Pokemon dot name 
equals temp dot two string. We don't need to necessarily do the two string because it's already a string. I'm just used to it so that I can verify if this ever changes that it's always going to turn it into a string. That's what we want. So then um, we could do a do another read line, right? And then we could do Captain Pokemon dot type equals temp dot to string. And then we could do capped dot add and then Captain Pokemon. Oh crap. What does it want from me? Oh. B got you. Oh, wow. Lightning. Mewtwo karate type. So these are just some of the stuff that we were are saving in. So if we do another one, we could do Qui Gon Jin Jedi type. So now we can see everything that's in here, right? So there's two, there's two types. So uh, I don't know how to say that. That's a lightning type. And that's a Mewtwo with a karate type. And now if we do an F10, now we have a, a Pokemon of a Qui-Gon Jinn. He's a Jedi type. so on and so forth. So you can keep them inside the loop. You just need to make sure that you're you're look you're getting them correctly. If you're using them and then storing them appropriately in a different variable and then reusing that same temp variable, then you can do that as much as you want If because you're saving off that, that allocated data. Man, I am hungry. I'm gonna go get some animal crackers. I'll be right back. Hopefully, Captain, that's that's helping you looking at the code.
No, it didn't. I'm sorry, my dude. Bring it what you want. I'm here to help. Whatever you guys want me to do, I will do. Other than that, I'm just enjoying some animal crackers. So how was everybody's day? It's a nice Friday, right? I'm having a decent day, I think. Yeah, boring stream. Sorry, guys. Didn't intend it to make it very boring for you guys. Then there's just like so much rock, paper, scissors crap. It's 
it's really weird. Again, anybody that's watching that needs help, let me know or want me to do something that's coding-wise and it can be done.
everyone. Five new people. Welcome, welcome. I know I'm gorgeous, so you don't have to tell me. We might be ending the stream soon because the wife needs me to move stuff into our new room. Because we got friends coming over. So now is the time to ask away. Ask all your programming questions now before I end the stream and you're out of luck. You're not out of luck. You can always reach me on Discord. And uh, I'll see what I can do. And, I, and I'm welcome. Well, just wait till Sunday when we play, when we live stream D&D. And I'm going to win because I'm the one who wins. Uh, that's just how you sound? What do you mean that's how I sound? That, that is you, that's how you sound? Just wait until Sunday. I know, yeah. Just wait until Sunday. And you're gonna have to repent. Repent, dear. Gwen wants me to move all our stuff on our... Her stupid friend's coming over, and... She wants me to move stuff, and I don't want to move stuff, and... I was trying to get away with it if we were gonna play D&D &D tonight, but... As apparently Storm doesn't want to hang out with us anymore. You you are the lawyer. I don't I hopefully you've had 2 weeks now to get your cases together to get me out of the damn doghouse. She no longer likes you. Okay, well, I did not do anything wrong. Oh, car, I didn't show you. <laughs> Look what I made. I made this a while, a long time ago. But I made all the original, I made the original uh, Pokedex. Oh, crap. You can't see because of the things. <laughs> I mean, you can, like, do a Kakuna. And then like the air, it's like a, it's like my pride. I made the original Pokedex. <laughs> each one of the, I didn't type any of this. Each one of them are images. Like the D is an Im everything's an image that I brought them together to make it look like everything. I think Dracini's only in the Safari Zone. Yeah, in Fuchsia City. In Fuchsia City. I'm a gamer. I'm a gamer.
What do you mean I just get up and leave? I have, I have ADD. I can't help that. I can't help the way I am. You, I can't hide what's inside, okay? You don't understand. I have to deal with one of Gwen's friends again today, this weekend. I don't want to do that. Ooh, I also made an RPG car. Let's set, let's set you up. No, no, all, you know how much I bitch, he bitches way more than I do, and that, it's that bad. New game, car. Car is the... Uh, yeah, I know. Gwendolyn! Come here! <laughs> you like your stats? You want me to re-randomize them? Okay. And let. So this is an AI. I made. I built an AI that plays an RPG for me. So the AI is you. You're fighting vampires. You can level up. You'll get inventory stuff like you have two stuff that's on right now. These are your stats. So you're wearing armor right now. Your defense is 91. You have, you've, I've made, I've made some, uh, all, they're all random stuff. So it's an AI that plays for you. So, you're level 7, you're fighting Krillin, the first boss, you have a lot of bosses you have to fight. All anime bosses, every anime that you can think of. Your health is, your health is okay. Your defense is not bad. So what essentially it does, Car, is it'll it, every time you beat somebody, you'll get you'll get an equipment, and it'll go through and pick which one is the best, and it'll update it as well as your weapons. I haven't implemented magic yet, or shields, but this is your equipment. You have you have a steel helm, steel chest, an ultra sword. You don't have another. Oh, you have a helmet. Iron shoes and bronze pants, which then this brings you your defense to be very, very high. You're basically a tank. You're, you're Antonitis right now. Well, now you got a sword that's basically you're just gonna rip through people. I don't know how you got a three thousand. What? Your your short sword. You have a short sword. What the hell? Wow. You picked up an ultra rare short sword. You were so lucky that you basically just wiped people now. Is this how um, Whipper Mouse feels? Is he just get so lucky that you just keep... 
You literally picked up. I and I have like a giant randomizer that randomizes all the loot that every time they pick up, and you literally just dropped an ultra weapon that does that much damage. You are going to be fine for a while. So down here. So down, and your luck is ba it's based off your luck too for your ult. So you're very powerful at level 29 already. Um, you haven't gotten to, oh you you killed your first Bulma. So once you kill your second one, um, you'll be able to fight the first boss, and then you then it'll open up a store, and you'll be able to buy new stuff and sell new stuff with your gold. What's up, Lemmy? I'll be right back. I gotta get a. Damn, by the time you fight the first boss, you're going to be so overleveled. I just spilled my Coke. Shut up. Point does the mods need to be? What do you mean what point? What point are you I don't know I don't understand what point you're talking about. Okay, you still haven't even fought your boss yet. Good thing you have not gotten a better weapon because that would have been a load of barnacles and that and that is you don't deserve that that much at least. All right. Right. No, we're at like 1.10. Ooh, you're losing health. Ooh, that deadly plant is kicking your ass. Are you gonna lose? <gasps> oh no, you didn't lose. You leveled up. What a fucking. <laughs> Future trunks? So, what happens if you end up beating the game? you end up being a part of, uh, you can, you have a chance to becoming a boss if you, um, if you want, or you become an, like, if you die, you become a part of the enemy. So, like, if she ends up dying, she'll become part of just a basic enemies, for the next person to start or if she beats the entire boss all the bosses she'll be part she'll be number one boss to fight so essentially why I, ma why I made this is oh okay cool so this this is what comes up now this is a store right so after you beat a boss you go to the store and you can now sell or buy um, equipment so like this is all your equipment you can sell it I don't have any shields yet And then you have these. You have a... There's a super. That defense is 23,000. And it's 21,000 for a Black Knight pants. Um, you got lava shoes. You got... Uh, you got an ultra bow. Is there anything that you want to buy, Car? Do you want to sell stuff? Do you want to buy stuff? Do you want me to just to quit? And you continue finding shit?
No, no, this no, it's easy. What do you want? Fine. If you don't give me an answer in the next five seconds, then I'm just going to exit and you're not going to get this this beautiful ultra, oh, that's a super, ultra scythe that's 350,000 gold, which you can't even afford to sell all junk for one. Gotcha. So, sell. So, all common you want me to sell? Gotcha. What about this, this super steel chest? Keep it? Okay. Oh, crap. What about your swords? I don't know. No, oh, okay. Don't worry. We can... Re Every time you beat a, a boss, you get saved. So, let's load game, continue, and, oh, you didn't fight Usopp? The only issue was you lost all your shit when you crash. Never said this was, this was a thing. Uh, you just, what you can do is just don't hit defense, because if you do, the shit crashed, because I never, I did this back in... A wee long time ago. But you know, you'll get back. You kind of deserve not to have that again. You know, you're not getting your rights back when we play Mar Minecraft again, right? We clipped your wings forever, so you're going to have to get it yourself. Oh, you got a high potion. You lost that battle. I'll be right back.
It's so small. Why is it so small? But I gotta end the stream here, guys. Um, Gwen needs my help for stuff. Um, we will be streaming on, um, well, any students that are watching, just hit me up on Discord, um, and I'll help you out as much as I can. Um, we'll be streaming, I, I don't think I'll be streaming tomorrow. Um, definitely Sunday is D&D &D Sunday. Well, then we'll go back to Fridays and Saturdays for D&D, &D, hopefully, if our DM decides to love us again. 